Welcome to the next video in our From Scratch series. This video we will be going over the concept of creating a simple dragging of images within a view within a Metro application. So I'm going to start with it again with a blank Windows Store application. I'm going to go ahead and call it um, Image Dragging From Scratch. And we're going to go ahead here and run it, make sure everything runs and builds and no errors. Okay, perfect. Stop that. So, the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to add a couple images to our application. So I'm going to add some existing items. Browse out to my test data here, grab a couple images, add them into my project. Then I'm going to go into my main page and I'm going to put a couple images on my grid here. Learn not to quick click too fast in there. Sometimes it tries to add them and it ends up hanging for a minute. So slow and deliberate. Um, so next thing we're going to do here is we're going to do source equals asset slash art dot png and source equals assets slash art. Uh, let's actually do a different one. Let's do a diaper one one four dot png. So, these are two images I have in my <coughs> project here. So, right now, you run your application, try to click and drag, and hey, look at that, nothing happens. Uh, so you want to be able to give your user the ability to move around freeform on the, on the, uh, on the project. So I'm going to take this first one here, and I'm going to grab the image, and I'm going to use a couple of the events. The events I'm going to use here are the, the pointer pressed and pointer released. So I'm going to go ahead and wire those up, wire up the pointer press. So on the pointer press, what I'm going to do is I want to know what image they pressed on. So I'm going to keep a, a reference to that image around. So I'm going to call it holding. Start out with null. Then when they press down the pointer, I'm going to say holding equals sender as image. So I can get the sender. And then the other thing I want to get is where they actually pressed on the image. And the important thing about that is that tells us that'll give us an offset we can use so when we move things around we know where to position the image so when they're clicking on it it doesn't jump around on them as if they you know if you want to move the top left corner you need to make sure that when you're moving it when the user's dragging it it's actually moving relative to where they have it clicked within the image so I'm gonna store a position here so it's a point um, so image offset and we're just going to set that not set that to anything to start and then on the uh, on the click so we're going to say image offset is e dot get current point that gives us the current point and then it takes one argument that argument is the relative so we want to say relative to holding which is the guy they're holding so it'll give us the offset from the top left corner of that image and then we're going to say get the position off that and that stores that into memory for us. Now we're going to go back here and we're going to grab on the released. On the release we're going to set holding back to null. So that way we know this will give us a check. We can check this val value to see if they're actually holding anything. If they're holding something then we'll move it. So after doing that the next thing we can do is then on the grid itself, you know, the parent, we're going to go ahead and on the pointer moved event we're going to go ahead and say if holding is not null then we're going to um, get the position that they clicked so again e dot get current point and this time we're going to get sender as grid and we're going to say we're now going to move the holding object so we're going to say holding dot margin equals new thickness and it's left top so left is the first argument will pass and the left value will be position dot x oh, dot sorry it's wrong dot position dot x minus the image offset dot x then position dot y minus the image offset dot y and then zero and zero. So what this is doing is we're just 
basically saying, okay, from the position X or wherever they were dragging, and we're going to say, we also have to take into account where they clicked in the image again. So if we run this, we should see on this art, we can click and drag, and you see how it's relative to where we clicked. You know, so it doesn't matter where we click on the image, it'll drag and move accordingly. But this guy over here doesn't move. So next thing we want to do is wire that guy up. Um, since we took the approach of storing the item they were dragging, wiring this second image up to be draggable is very simple. I can just take these two events that I wired up for the first guy, copy, paste, run it, and now they're both draggable. So as you can see, it's really easy to wire up dragging of images in this case, but it could be actually any control within a, a XAML application to allow it to move around on the screen.